Hello. Sunday the 21st of September 2014. We are looking down a cul-de-sac, end of the street where my house is. We're going to take a look around, around the house, now coming to the, the little gate, the main entrance. I've done a lot of maintenance around the house this summer. This path is uh, leveled. Every single stone is, is moved and uh, filled up with a lot of sand. A couple of tons of sand. I'm pretty pleased with the result. There will be some more sand filled in be between the stones, but uh, not now. Well, we are on the way up. Taking a look around again, we have seen this video before. There's the big elm tree. Big elm tree. A very big one. I don't know what to do with this one, but it's a beautiful tree and it uh, provides a little bit of shadow in the summer. Going Eastwards again, we see my, my wood shack that I built uh, two years ago to um, store the wood, the firewood, after a big pine, a silver pine that was standing just around the corner. Here's the What's left of it? The roots. Looking uh, westwards towards a neighbor. And, uh, well, the first apple tree. It has a lot of apples. It's sort of a wild apple. But it uh, tastes very good. This is my... Uh, my cherry plum tree making a red, nice marmalade. I made about 10 liters this summer, late summer of course. Coming up, here's another part that was leveled also. Nothing had been done for many years and now it's flat again. I arranged uh, the flower beds put up a little border, there were no border there before, so all the soil was creeping out and making everything dirty. Well, this is the main entrance. Some maintenance also, of course, looking at the posts of the fence. Uh, they had rusted and started swelling and uh, the stairs was cracking up, so I, I chiseled out the cement and uh, refilled it, painted of course with rust protection. Here's one of my little gods from Mexico, standing here, you know, in vigilance, scaring off burglars. Here's another cherry plum tree that didn't give so much, you know, this year. We're going to walk up the stairs to the patio. which also has been worked on now. It's leveled and it's nice. It was sunken down, severely sunken down. Now it's uh, fairly, you know, level again. And here's my Brugmansia, Brugmansia. Uh, it's a plant from South America that uh, sometimes is used for by the shamans for in, in, initiation re, uh, rites and you see if I'm lucky it's late summer you know late summer and uh, uh, you can see one of the buds you know just started to crack open I hope that beautiful flower will come out there's a lot of buds but that is the largest ones uh, we'll take a look at you know this one 
this is this is how the flowers look like you know if I'm lucky last summer I had one <laughs> they always fall off because this one you know is it needs sun a lot of sun not of lot of you know nutrients fertilization and water every day during its you know growth part looking westwards uh, lawn cut outside the border of my house is a forest fairly large forest where you see all sorts of animal foxes deers hares owls owls and a lot of you know blueberries and mushrooms grow looking eastwards again we are going to walk down and take a look at the east side of the house looking at the path, patio from you know the east side of the house and my brugmansia i think i have to straighten it up a little it's so heavy and big lot of leaves uh, well we can go back to the patio quick, you know, and take a look at uh, the door. I don't know if you noticed it, but you see, uh, there's some signs on the door. I have some lasers, you know, <laughs> inside the house just to, you know, protect myself. And there's also, you know, a surveillance camera, you know, and uh, stuff, other stuff, you know, things that turns on, you know, somebody comes in on the property uh, that's the house you know from from the east side uh, here's the first you know apple tree there's a lot of plum trees you have about six plum trees and uh, here's a winter apple tree uh, not so many apples in it uh, but further down um, we'll see there will be a lot of apples I don't know what to do with them yes I know I'm going to do a cider I think and uh, starting you know and then uh, fermenting there's a lot of apples you know it's I don't know but at least 100 kilos too much for me but I'm going to take care of them and probably make wa apple wine I have some plum wine for fermenting, you know, in the house. Uh, now, you know, we see my little wood shack again. Firewood shack and the garage door. Also, you know, with the signs all around the house about the lasers. Uh, coming out on the street. Driveway, gate. We want to take a look. Mm, the street, the neighbor's house. Out on the street again and turning around towards this nice forest, looking deep into it and around again. And we see the house from the driveway looking south. Well, folks, I think uh, this is it. For today it's going to rain. I think this is a good day for shooting photos and videos. No sun, overcast. But the rain is in the air. So I say goodbye and hope to see you soon again.